1524, Giovanni da Verrazzano, an Italian explorer of North America in the service of King Francis I of France, discovered New York Harbor. In 1609, an English sea explorer and navigator named Henry Hudson sailed up the Hudson River. Then, in 1624, the Dutch founded the first permanent trading post. The Dutch built a little town on the southern tip of Manhattan Island, which was called New Amsterdam, and it flourished by selling skins. The settlers sold otter, beaver, mink, and seal skins. In 1626, the settlement's first governor general, Peter Minwe, purchased the much larger Manhattan Island from the natives for 60 guilders in trade goods such as tools, farming equipment, cloth, and wampum or shell beads. The first enslaved black people arrived in 1628. Enslaved people played a major role in building the colony. In 1635, the Dutch built a fort called Fort Amsterdam, which the British later renamed Fort George. In 1639, a Swede called Jonas Bronck settled in the Bronx, named after him. A settlement was found at Flourishing in 1645. In 1653, a wall was built across Manhattan Island to protect the little town of New Amsterdam. The street next to it was called Wall Street. Also in 1653, Peter Stuyvesant, who was the governor of New Amsterdam at the time, established a municipal government for New Amsterdam based on those of Dutch cities. Meanwhile, the first Jews arrived in New Amsterdam in 1654. In 1657, thatched roofs were banned because of the risk of fire since New Amsterdam buildings were made of wood at first. In 1658, Dutch farmers built a village they called New Harlem or New Harlem after a town in Holland that eventually became a fashionable place for merchants to build country houses. When an English fleet arrived in 1664, Stuyvesant surrendered, afraid the English would sack the colony. The Dutch briefly recaptured New Amsterdam in 1673, but lost it to the English again in 1674. This time it was renamed New York in honor of the Duke of York, brother of King Charles II. In 1693, 92 cannons were installed to protect New York. The area became known as the Battery. The first shipyard opened in 1720. In 1725, the first newspaper, the New York Gazette, began publication while the first theater in New York opened in 1732. The oldest park in New York is Bowling Green, which was first used for lawn bowling in 1733. Former King's College, now Columbia University, was founded in 1754. St. Paul's Chapel was built in 1766. In August 1776, despite the best efforts of George Washington's Central Army in Brooklyn and Harlem Heights, New York City fell to the British. It served as a British military base until 1783. The Bank of New York was founded in 1784. On April 20, 1789, George Washington took his presidential oath at Federal Hall. Meanwhile, after the war, some New York streets were renamed. King Street was renamed Pine Street, and Queen Street was renamed Pearl Street. However, nearby Queens County, named for Charles II's Queen Catherine of Braganza, kept its original name. Later, Queens became a borough of New York. St. Mark's Church in the Bowery was built in 1799. In 1807, Robert Fulton launched a steamboat on the Hudson River. Since New York City grew haphazardly at first, the governor of the state of New York appointed a commission to draw up a plan for the city. The commission was reported in 1811. The method proposed that new streets be laid out on a grid pattern. There would be 12 avenues running north to south and 155 streets running east to west. As New York City grew, the grid pattern spread north across Manhattan. Also, in 1811, a new fort called West Battery replaced Fort George, which was renamed Castle Clinton after the mayor DeWitt Clinton in 1815. In 1818, ship owners in New York formed the Black Ball Line the first shipping line between New York and Liverpool. By 1820, New York had become the USA's largest city with a population of 123,000. In 1825, a 363-mile canal from the Hudson River to Lake Erie called the Erie Canal was completed after almost a decade of work. In 1826, Washington Square Park was created. In 1831, New York University was founded. In 1832, the first horse-drawn streetcars ran in New York. In 1837, construction began on the Croton Aqueduct, which provided clean water for the city's growing population. 
eight years after that, the city established its first municipal agency, the New York City Police Department. In the same year, Harlem was connected to New York by railway. The Croton Reservoir was built in 1842 to provide New York with piped drinking water. New York City Police Force was founded in 1845. Madison Square opened in 1847. The New York Times began publication in 1851. In 1858, Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Vaux created Central Park. Before we continue showing you how New York evolved through the years, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to watch more of our videos. Going back to New York's amazing transformations, the first elevated railway in New York began carrying passengers in 1868, which was soon followed by many other elevated railways, or L's. The Museum of Natural History in New York was founded in 1869. The Metropolitan Museum of Art was founded in 1870. The first telephones were installed in New York City in 1878. New York gained an electricity supply in the 1880s. Brooklyn Bridge opened in 1883. Unfortunately, on opening day, a crowd on the bridge panicked thinking it was going to collapse, which resulted in the death of 12 people. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated by President Grover Cleveland on the 28th of October, 1886. Carnegie Hall opened in 1891. In 1892, the United States Immigration Station opened on Ellis Island. In 1895, residents of Queens, the Bronx, Staten Island, and Brooklyn, all independent cities at the time, voted to consolidate with Manhattan to form a five-borough Greater New York. As a result, on December 31, 1897, New York City had an area of 60 square miles and a population of a little more than 2 million people. On January 1, 1998, when the consolidation plan took effect, New York City had an area of 360 square miles and a population of about 3,350,000 people. Bronx Zoo opened in 1899. The Flatiron Building was built in 1902. Williamsburg Bridge was built in 1903. The first line of the New York subway opened in 1904. Queensboro Bridge was built in 1909. In the same year, Manhattan Bridge was also built. New York Public Library opened in 1911. The Woolworth Building was erected in 1913. The same year, Grand Central Station opened. The Museum of New York City was founded in 1923. Holland Tunnel opened in 1927. It took seven years to build, and it was named after Chief Engineer Clifford Holland. Unfortunately, Holland died before it was completed. The Museum of Modern Art was founded in 1929. Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney founded the Whitney Museum of American Art in 1930. Also, the Chrysler Building was erected in 1930. The Empire State Building was erected in 1931. Also in 1931, the General Electric Building and the George Washington Bridge were built. The Guggenheim Museum was founded in 1939, but moved to a modern building two decades later. In 1954, the United States Immigration Station on Ellis Island closed. The Museum of American Folk Art was founded in 1961. Verrazano Narrows Bridge was built in 1964. South Street Seaport Museum was founded in 1967. In 1971, the Big Apple was officially adopted as the city's nickname because of a successful ad campaign intended to attract tourists. The term originated about the prizes or Big Apples rewarded at the many racing courses in and around New York City. By 1980, New York had a population of 7 million. The Museum of the Moving Image opened in 1988. Ellis Island Museum of Immigration opened in 1990. Also, in 1990, David Dinkins became the first African-American mayor of New York. In 1993, Rudolph Giuliani was elected. He succeeded in reducing crime in New York. On September 11, 2001, New York City suffered the deadliest terrorist attack in history of the United States when a group of terrorists crashed two hijacked jets into the city's tallest buildings, the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center. The buildings were destroyed and nearly 3,000 people were killed. In the wake of the disaster, the city remained a major financial capital and tourist magnet, with over 40 million tourists visiting the city each year. One World Trade Center opened in 2014, and World Trade Center Transportation Center opened in 2016. New York is known for its iconic sites, including skyscrapers like the Empire State Building and sprawling Central Park, as well as the Broadway Theater stage and neon-lit Times Square. The city, like others, has a vast history and went through a lot before it became what it is today. 
Watch out for more of our videos if you enjoyed this one.